Yo, what's up, YouTube? Local Skills Entertainment edit again, making the um another tutorial, a little different than the other ones, and this one is on AAA logo maker. And what we're gonna be like, a uh, kind of like texty logo type of thing, not really logos this time, as you will see in just a moment. Uh, not restoring. Well, while it is loading. Um, we're, we're gonna be making stuff like that that you like texty logos not really logos like this see I, what I call I call this a logo in my book I call this a logo so we're not gonna be making nothing like that we're gonna be um making something similar to these you know all this stuff all right so now that we have that clear, this is not a video on how to make these types of things, but just like take these things. So what I'm gonna do is press escape to start a um blank project or a new template or whatever. So we do that and um okay, so you see all this stuff. Text is blocked. So we're gonna go to um object, new text, and Text line is right here. This is what you're gonna. This is where you're gonna input your text, and then these are all the fonts. As you can see, I um, installed several fonts from the font.com, and I'll make a tutorial on how to do that too. Um, and I'm just gonna put something simple like L S E N T. All right. So that is that in that type of font. That type of font. So yeah, you can just um, full play around with the fonts here and see which one you would like. All right, so I'm gonna get the Carleone. I'm gonna get that, and you can change the font size with this little bar right here, and you can change the character spacing, which is like the space between the letters, and. You can change the aspect ratio, which basically to me just like making it like wider or whatever, basically wider and thinner, whichever one. And right here, you can change the color. I'm gonna leave mine's black. As a matter of fact, I'm not gonna leave this black. I'm gonna I'm gonna make this tan. So to get to tan, I'm gonna go over in the orange and brownish area. And then I'm going to stroll through see if I can find tan or khaki. And I see a little tannish khaki kind of color. So I'm going to click that. And um, press OK. I'm going to enlarge this. Make it bigger. And just to spice this um, this um, text right here up, I'm going to go to effects. Has outline. That's just basically the outline. Has shadow. Basically the shadow. Simple. So I'm gonna add some shadow, shadow opacity, which is basically like the thickness or whatever, or how much. And I want my shadow a little more thick. And um, shadow distance. I want my distance a little back off where you can see it better. You're gonna bring that down a little bit. And sh um, outline. I'm gonna have a black outline, I guess gonna see how that looks oh this looks pretty nice so I get the black outline and as you can see this is looking pretty nice looking pretty professional so far and I'm gonna press ok gradient gradient is really just like yeah basically like two tone colors that's basically what gradient is and then you can press ok you can change these two colors great it really doesn't matter which color you pick first number one and number two which one you ch you change excuse me and the gradient angle that just means like which angle you want like you want this color first or that color first or you want that at the bottom want that at the top and you can just play around with that to see how to work that and then this is just so basically see how much you see how much you want of that gradient or whatever but I'm not gonna use it in gradient I like this the way it is now and right now I guess I'm gonna transform it to transform it I'm gonna bend the object 
so oh uh, yeah sorry yeah so you click once you get on here you click transform object I'm not gonna do any rotation but I'm gonna bend the object so I'm gonna bend inside bend radius and this is bending yeah I rather bend outside it looks better and I'm I am gonna do some rotation so I'm gonna rotate this over here like that and so I'm gonna bring this at the top because I'm gonna do some a little later after this okay so now I have bent it make it look um like making the oval type so I have that now and this is all I have and so I want to add some more so I'm gonna go to edit well not edit I'm sorry file import image and right now I'm just gonna spice up my logo so I go to my um my photo where I have all my logos and stuff at so I see um LSNT logo here up oh, this is the wrong one so I'm gonna remove object which is going by going to object and removing the object now I'm gonna go back to import image and just find the right one uh let's see All right, here we here we go. Right here. So now we have the logo. We have the logo of LSENT and then the small fat smiley face for local skills entertainment. So I'm digging it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to object or not object. I'm going to go to edit reflects click reflections. This is just to make your logo look more better. And I'm going to put add all. So all of them look just to make sure everything is on the same track okay so now you press ok when you're done whatever so I made that a little bigger so you can see the reflection of it see LSNT right here and you can position it on whichever way you want to and right now I'm gonna go to canvas properties just to make my picture fit my image and I'm gonna scale this down to where it fits my image. Up. And that looks about it. And now scan this up. Alright, and then we're gonna press OK. So now actually we didn't make a cool we only we not only did make a cool text logo ish thing we also made a logo which was my company name well company initials and my company um logo okay so yeah that's basically it for this tutorial subscribe um like this video if it helped you and if it didn't don't click dislike just say how it didn't and i will make another tutorial and show you how to fix that privately so if it didn't help you like it or whatever and yeah thanks for watching goodbye